Hey, Daniel here. I'm part of the AT&T social media team, one of those people behind the globe on the AT&T Facebook page. Okay, so today I'm going to help first-time AT&T customers understand the steps for opening an account and signing up for iPhone 4. Best way to start, head into a store and open an account. Here are some things you should know. You should bring a photo ID and social security number or tax ID so we can do a credit check. You may need to pay a deposit depending on that credit check. An activation fee of $36 will be billed to your account. And if you want the best price, you'll have to sign up for a two-year contract. If you want to transfer your current phone number, you'll need to bring your account information from your current service provider. That includes your account number, social security number or tax ID, your billing address, and your PIN or password if that applies. Most of this stuff should be on your billing statement, so bring that because the information has to match the records of your current service provider exactly. If it doesn't, it'll slow down the whole process. You'll also need to pick a data plan. As a new customer, you can choose from two options based on how much data you think you'll use. Data Plus gives you 200 megabytes a month for $15, or Data Pro, where you get 2 gigabytes a month for $25. There's more information about these plans and how to figure out how much data you might use so you can figure out which plan works for you. And you'll want to pick a voice plan, messaging, and other features. The folks in the store can help you figure out what's right for you. So keep an eye on the Facebook page over the next few days for more information on iPhone 4. And as always, when we have news to share, you guys will be the first to know. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just head on over to the wall on the AT&T Facebook page.